Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Smite. I'm of course Trex and I'm actually doing something really cool. I am watching the replay of my arena match. So let's go ahead and get this started a little bit here. We are already well into it. You see me right there under my Ares going after going after Freya. Getting I got Zeus and Cobb on me. There's my ultimate bringing them back in. Boom with the Zeus ultimate. Pretty nice and deedy. Pretty nice and deedy. Really happy about that. So we already see that we are we're uh, we are ahead in gold. We are ahead in gold. We are ahead. Just pretty much, uh, we stayed ahead the entire game. So thank you. Uh, Raw gives us a nice little health here. I'm actually heading back to base so I can get my next art. Uh, guess get my next items, so to speak. And we see, and there goes Freya giving the ultimate right on top of everybody. Artemis looking like really low of health right there. And there goes our Fenry getting smack attacked by Zeus. And Almond Cobb takes out our Artemis. There's Tr and there's Trex of course, and Siege Beast taking de uh, just trying their best to take out the minions here. And then Freya's coming down to initialize. There's no tank on the other side, as I saw. We pretty much, you have to... Oh, I was really shocked that there was no tank, but there are a lot, of, a lot of arenas go without a tank, and I couldn't have that this time. I want it to be a tank. Now, during this playground, we see Amon Cobb posting all of these hives all over the place, and man, oh man, does, does he stack them. Stack some really, really... <laughs> a lot, actually. We have an initialize over here. Finry versus Finry. Who's going to win? Jumping all around. Boom. Our Finry takes down Blue Finry. And then everybody's going after them. I'm trying my best. And my ultimate apparently only hit Freya. And she goes down as well. We have a nice little team battle here. Amin Cobb gets taken out by Trexlight. And we all head back to the mid to get in finish up the roundabout of destroying these minions. Now I do see that Zeus, on, uh, blue team Zeus has has picked up the combat blink, which is uh, which has become very staple. Apparently, uh, I know definitely for an Ares having combat blink definitely uh, works out well. For anyone who actually has an ultimate that's an AOE, having combat blink is going to be very very needed. I'm not really sure what he was doing there. Zeus going up against Freya. There's Ra right there with... And Zeus got the kill with the help of Ra. Shibalanke, Zeus, and Cobb coming into the mid. Ra taking out minions. Shibalanke is a very, very tight initiator. And I'm really shocked that he has not been more forceful with this. Amon Cobb right there. He uses his ultimate. Got a stinger back, luckily. We're still just slowly grabbing here. Ares is now coming into the fray. Not afraid of anything. Coming into the match. Initializing all the team members. Where's the rest of the team? No, no. And now we have a nice little group up there. I'm in Cobb. Uh, Oz, uh, Mosin Cobb giving that honey down. We see a nice little aerial shot here. There's... Oh, apparently everybody's trying to take out Fenrir over there. Artemis and Ra trying to fight on Zeus. Ultimate given. Blue team Fenrir. Nice enough to have what seems... Everybody has beads. Except for Freya. Everybody has beads except for Freya. Which you would think that everyone would know. If you see an Ares or a Hades, you get those beads. Ares misses with the shackle. But nice job with the flame. Zeus blinks the hell out of there. Sliver of health. Oh, there's Shibalanke's ultimate right there. Get, uh, getting caught into that. Ron, oh, Rog gets taken down by Amon Cobb. And there is Blue Team Zeus's ultimate. Artemis taken out by Freya, just getting smacked with the help of Fenry. All of Red Team just came back to where they needed to be. Artemis is heading back in. Uh, heading back to base. Fenry trying to get that red, uh, that damaged red buff. 
And Freya, Shibalanke, and Zeus are coming into the mid to take out some minions. This is turning into a, is really getting to a high stakes match. The fact that they don't have a tank is really hard for them to initialize on when to come in. Ares coming in straight into get the shackle onto Freya. No other shackles given because of the honey. Because of the honey dude. And there goes the there goes the defense. Ares trying to play it safe, it seems. All members are ready to go in. Ares taking out these hives over here by from Shibalanke. <laughs> Apparently Abman Cobb did not like that one bit. And Shib oh, and Cobb going after Ares or going after our Armadus. And Ares missed. He used the ultimate. He used his he used his ultimate, but definitely did not connect with anybody because they used their beads. Everybody's bead seems to be up at max, so the shorter cooldown is gonna be better. Ares apparently gets dragged into their base. Ares with his high health using his damage. He already has his aura going. Now Ares only has one aura going right now. Instead of the normal two, he went. It seems he went with the uh, the breastplate of Valor to go ahead and get his cooldown lower. Fenry takes out Zeus. And Amon Cobb laying down in honey. Ares getting low of health. He's feeling the sting from Amon Cobb. Trying his best just to give some damage out to everybody. Giving some damage. Freya with, his, with her ultimate. Amon Cobb with the kill to Ares. Zeus working on minions right now. A surrender vote. Must have been from Blue Team. But you know what? You never want to surrender. Never ever surrender. You fight until that says zero. Never surrender. Never come up. Never surrender. Initializing coming over here on this side. You see Fenry just waiting over here behind the door. Or behind that wall. Going straight after. Oh, going after Shibalanke. Fenry get going non-stop. And with the kill to Shibalanke. Fenry now trying to get his best as possible out of there. Getting chased by everybody on the blue team. Ares coming over there with the blink. With his ultimate, oh, and picks up Freya, who, of course, doesn't have her beads. And Ares takes out Freya. Aben, this is like Aben, Cobb, and Ares going at it one by one. Ra on the back, giving support. Both get stunned by Shibalanke's ultimate. Look at Ares and Shibalanke. Oh, and gets taken out by Aben, Cobb, and Shibalanke and Aben, Cobb are going after Ra now. Ra taking so much damage, trying to get out of there. Benry trying to go for the save, and with the save, I'm going to go with the save, takes out Amon Cobb. Fenry ultimate, now out, picks up Freya over to the other side, and there goes Zeus's ultimate. Can we take, oh, and Shibalanke somehow managed to escape. Managed to escape. Artemis looks like getting, oh, and gets taken out by, Ze by blue team Zeus's ultimate. Zeus and Zeus going at it. Now Zeus and Amon Cobb are going at it. And there goes and there goes Ares right there with the two shackles, shearing flame with the kill to Abin Cobb. I'm just gonna call him Cobby. Mmm, Cobby. Shibalanke and Fenry in the middle. Ooh, Zeus looks like he's gonna try and take out Fenry. Miss Ares missed with the shackle. Everybody's just teaming up right there. There's a swarm coming from Kabi. Trying his best. Zeus is just teasing us now with these little shots. Raw down in health, health. He probably needs to back up a little bit. There goes the initializing from Blue Finry. Finry going at it, taking out Raw. Robin Cobb's over there as well. Robin Cobb gets stunned by Artemis Ultimate. Trying to take out the boar, apparently. Artemis going one-on-one -on -one with Amon Cobb is not powerful enough. Amon Cobb gets the kill. Fenrir over here looking, stalking Zeus. Stalking Zeus, and there goes Shibalanke's ultimate. And you can see Fenrir gets taken out by Zeus. That was devastating uh, how much was going over there. We have, a, we have some action coming over here. Red Fenrir trying to go out for Zeus. Does not happen. There's Ares going one-on-one -on -one with... Well, trying to go one-on-one -on -one with Shibalanke, but Freya in the back, just giving some little, just giving some little taps there, little love taps in the back. You know how how fun that always is. Red team coming out of base. Now let's take a look at the item builds a little bit here. We have Ares going for his second aura item. He should have, 
He definitely wanted to get that uh, Breastplate of Valor to get the cooldown down so he can use his ultimate a lot faster. And there goes Ares getting a kill on Freya. And Ares going one-on-one -on -one with Shivalanke and Fingry right there. Both ultimates are in. Both guys use their beads. Very smart, very smart. Fingry going in with the initializing going after there, Fingry. Fingry doesn't get hit, but there goes Freya gets hit with the shackle from Ares. And then Zeus, Blue Zeus going after Red Fenry. And there goes Red, and there goes Ares taking out, trying to make sure he saves his partner. Misses with the shackle again. Man, he's just not winning with those shackles. Rob brings down some hills. Red Fenry, or Blue Fenry picks up Ares and gets taken out by Searing Flame. Searing Flame still giving damage to Blue Zeus, but it seems that Freya was able to get the hit off on to destroy Ares. Got some fun times coming over here. Red Fenry going after Artemis takes the kill. Takes the kill. Freya luckily barely got out of that maneuver right there. Artemis is in the center take, uh, doing some fighting. Red Fenry does ultimate, trying to grab Shibalanke. Grab Shibalanke, brings him back. And does some wicked damage. Fenry's doing some damage as well. Fenry gets taken out by, looks like, by Zeus. And ladies and gentlemen, that's game. That is game. Very nice job. Congratulations to Red Team. Let's take a look and see what was going on. That's right, that was my first one of the day. So, let's take a look at the stats here real fast. Everybody got all up on our team, got up to level 20, thankfully. Uh, for Ares, we had 6 kills, 7 deaths, 15 assists. Honestly, with the 7 deaths, I am not mad with those deaths whatsoever. As a tank, you need to go in there and hopefully have your team behind you. But go in there, into the back, and rock it. You just got to go in there and uh, trying to initialize. Go ahead and gather people up. People don't even want to gather around Ares because they're afraid of the ultimate. Luckily, everybody had bees except Freya, but it's a learning curve. It's a learning curve. That's all it is. On the red team, their MVP seems to be Amen Cobb. Ah, Mosin Cobb. Look at there. 13 kills, 8 deaths, and 8 assists. Their, their Fenry was not very hot whatsoever with 0 kills, zero kills, 8 deaths, and 9 assists. Let's, now I want to take a look at our, the Battle of the Zeuses. Zeus comes in with 10 kills, 3 deaths, 17 assists, and the Red Zeus comes in with 8, 8, and 10. Honestly, Red Zeus didn't really uh, have didn't really have that defense. Didn't really have it. Let's actually take a look at their uh, the items that they use. Let's go with Red Zeus first. Red Zeus spent so much time building Rod of Tuhuta. Or Tuhuti. However you want to pronounce it. I can tell you now, Rod is a very expensive, very expensive item to try and go for the first item. All right, our Zeus went with the Shoes of Magi, which should have been honestly the first choice, but Red Zeus went with that first, or went with that second actually. Uh, Blue Zeus went with uh, Bancroft's Talon to get that extra magical power uh, for the missing health. Third item Rod, third item Rod, perfect. That is a perfect item to go for. Honestly, it really is. And then the fourth shoot, uh, he was building up Gem of Isolation to go ahead and where his damaging abilities was going to slow enemy targets. I mean, Red Zeus, though, I'll give Red Zeus that. Red Zeus popped out. I mean, he was working on Doom Orb at the very end. Uh, he did not max out his tele, uh, Telekine's Ring. But all in all, you can even see right there, that magic damage. He was stacking magic damage all the way where he should have probably done a lot more if he was able to have a tank back him if he had a tank backing him uh we had freya try i guess freya could have actually probably been the closest thing to a tank in this group uh if he if she would have stacked a little bit of some damage of some defense abilities some defense items i mean zeus right there with his stats alone zeus really could have been wrecking house but he really needed to have a tank in his back just like blue zeus did blue zeus had Ares. Ares did a pretty a, a decent job he uh looking at his ability looking at his items and of course i was aries i i of course went with my starter tank item you know it's no problem whatsoever to start off with that i got my reinforced greaves mystical mark so i can give uh so i can have that physical protection but honestly looking at it look how many people are physical or physical though there are only three but ozink uh 
Actually, I went the smart route because I was in Cobb was doing some wicked damage. But Zeus was doing a lot of damage along with Freya. I think Freya was the number one target. She was just coming after me. Just coming after me. Uh, I went with Breastplate of Valor because I wanted that cooldown reduction. Normally, I would go use my boots for the cooldown, but I went with Marie and Force Greaves because I need them. So, th uh, my fourth item, I decided to go for Breastplate of Valor. I wanted one aura so I can make sure I can do some damage with that. And then I went with Void Stone for the magical protection and also for my second aura. So, uh, that was the view replay, which is very rare that ever comes up. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is like an impromptu thing. I saw the view replay. I'm like, let's, let's spectate this. Let's try this out. So, it was my first time really spectating it. It's my first time spectating a MOBA. And especially by yourself. It's kind of, really kind of hard. So, I give... Props to the uh, tournament guys like Dry Bear and Lionheart and everybody. Big props to you guys. But, you know, this stuff right here, it's a learning curve. It's all about learning. And if I was actually have be able to replay the beginning of the match, you know, I would enjoy it. But uh, thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.